Last week, we discussed how our God is a generous God. Everything you are and everything you have are gifts from God. This past week, you thought about all those gifts that you have received from God. Health, relationships, rain, sun, earth, forgiveness, God's presence in times of trouble or grief. We should be tremendously thankful and show our gratitude to God for all the wonderful gifts he, gives, he has given us. Our stewardship, can, our stewardship campaign themes in the past is, have emphasized showing our gratitude for God. In other words, being generous for God. What does it mean to be generous? It feels good to be generous, whether it's a Christmas present, a large tip, or a surprise visit to a friend in the hospital. The giver feels good. Being generous is all about attitude, helping others before yourself. Jesus contrasts the giving of the widow versus the showmanship giving of the wealthy Pharisee. Being generous is a spiritual discipline that emulates God's generosity. I'm a bit concerned that being generous for God, stewardship campaign slogans may inadvertently lead members to giving for the wrong reasons. The slogan focuses on giving as a means to an end. The church needs money, so you give money to the church, and the balance is, budget is balanced. But what about the motivation behind the giving? If the motivation is solely transactional, you give money so you maintain your membership to the church, or you believe that God will give you more in return of your giving, then the relationship between you and God becomes conditional. If God blesses me, I will give. If God's blessing diminishes, the deal's off. Generosity for God is also an incomplete explanation of the Christian faith. It says that humanity's problem is sin. And the single answer is being saved. There are signs all around us that life is more than just being saved. The song we sing on, on the way out of our church, the angels are not sent into a world, it falls to you and me. Our unofficial vision statement is, we are your family's church on the corner doing God's work in the world. Reminds us we are called to be generous not merely for God, but with God. The stained glass image of Gethsemane at the back of our church, or the front of our church, reminds me of Jesus' prayer, not my will, but thy will be done. The Lord's prayer, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, echoes this sentiment. In the last verse of Matthew, Jesus says, I will be with you always. God desires us to be his partners in transforming the world, to create heaven here on earth, to be generous not merely for God, but with God. It's a subtle difference, changing the word for to with, but it is transformational, changing us from something that we do to something that we are. Generosity with God is an attitude shift towards other people, our day-to-day -day interactions, and our relationship with God. You are participating in the kingdom of God here on earth. How will you use all that God has given you to be a partner with God, transforming this world? Our God is a generous God. We are meant to be generous with God.